The Sunday Times Chef of the Year competition presents challenges that test skill, dexterity and imagination in the kitchen. This year, the categories have shifted slightly to encompass a range of ages and stages of expertise. The Junior Chef of the Year category, previously known as the Chef School Challenge, is for young qualified chefs under the age of 25, with a cash prize of 10,000 Rand. The judging was done by seven of SA's top culinary talents, including Jackie Cameron. I think it is a wonderful way for a young chef to get their name out there. So often you find the head chefs and you know they get all the recognition but it really just does put their name on the map. If I just look at my plates of food that I was producing 10 years ago, the standard of food in South Africa has increased. You actually can't comprehend it. And that's what's very exciting with these kind of competitions. The four finalists each received a mystery basket filled with seasonal South African ingredients. The content remained a secret until the cook-off time. Ingredients included fresh figs, tuna and blood sausage. Impressing the judges was no easy task. Finally, it was Nick Tonglet from the Test Kitchen by Luke Dale Roberts who produced the winning menu. Stay tuned to meet SA's Junior Chef of the Year live in the Espresso Penthouse Studio. Cooking live, he's right here wearing an a pink apron, all in support of breast cancer. Congratulations, Nick. Thank you very much. It must have been amazing walking away with that prize. How did you feel? Um, oh, it's not really coming in yet. It's, it's quite surreal, but it's, yeah, it's pretty, yeah. Pretty happy, it's pretty stoked. Well, now the next thing that you're going to be do doing is being put to the test in the espresso kitchen to remake the dish you, the award winning dish you made there. Yeah, it's Kay. my starter. <laughs> it's your starter. Yeah. What do we need for the ingredients uh, and for the recipe that you're making today? Okay, today I've got three components. Uh, the one is a seared tuna, which is uh, just seared with some pepper, salt, some olive oil. Then I've got an apple salad with some chopped up parsley, and to finish off a uh, little dressing some jalapeno, some basil, some onion to give some texture and full flavor, and that's it. Okay, should we get started? Yeah. Okay, you're seasoning your tuna. Yeah, I season my tuna first and put the oil on as well. Why do you do it first? Um, just so the salt can impregnate, especially molten salt. It's quite coarse, so it takes a while to get on the flavor onto mm. your tuna. And then the oil before as well, because you don't want your oil to burn before you put your tuna in the pan. And Nick, for your, for your thing, you were given a basket full of ingredients. Yeah, that's correct. Were you nervous about what you were going to get in that basket because you didn't know what to prepare? Um, well, you can always prepare a little bit. You, you know sort of that you're going to get a protein for your main yeah. and all that stuff. Um, yeah, so you know you're going to get eggs, flour. You, you can basics. know your basics. So okay. from there on, you have a few, few different things you can yeah. make. Okay. So okay. for my... Apple salad. I've got my apples cut already, mm -hmm. and I just add my chopped parsley. There you go. And it's just as easy as mix it together. I've got lemon juice in already. Mm -hmm. And the lemon juice is nice because it doesn't make the onion, uh, the the apples go brown if you're going to make the salad a bit earlier. Yeah, And exactly. it adds a little bit of a, a tang and a flavour to it. Yeah, you can make it definitely like half an hour to an hour beforehand mm. if you need to. Now, how do we know when to turn our tuna? Um, I just want to sear it off. I still want the raw flavor inside, but the almost charcoal flavor on the outside. So I'll keep an eye on this. You're going to make the dressing. Okay, fantastic. Okay, okay for so the dressing. First, onion. my onion. That gives the texture and a full flavor. Just okay. a good handful. And then a little bit of ginger. Give some spice. And it's full of antioxidants as well, so very healthy. Exactly. Some basil, I've blanched my basil so it's a bit softer in flavor. Else it gets too harsh when it's raw. This is almost done. Can I take it off? Yeah, you can. I think take I'm it. ruining it here for you. I oh, know, that's perfect. <laughs> See, okay. this is why I wasn't your assistant during the competition. <laughs> Next thing. Okay, I've got some, a little bit of parsley to continuate my flavors. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab that from you. A little bit of. What's that you're adding? Soy sauce. And a little bit of? Lemon juice. More lemon juice. Yeah. Now, if you'd like the ingredients list for this recipe, send through to your mobile phone. Very, very easy. Our keyword today is tuna, spelled T-U-N-A, tuna. SMS that to 33728. The ingredients list will be sent through to your mobile phone. And the entire recipe is available on our website on expressoshow.com on the internet. So if you want to make this at home, very, very easy to do it.
Okay, Nick, you're going to blend it all together. Yeah, I'm just going to blend it all together and then finish it up with oil to emulsify my dressing. This is the, the loud part. Yes. Uh, so after you made the tuna, what did you make for your mains? Uh, for my main course, uh, we got given chicken and black, black pudding. Mm -hmm. So I made a chicken roulade stuffed with black pudding. Um, I served it with um, roasted figs, uh, lentil puree, and uh, black pepper cream sauce. I think we need to have a cook-off like that on Espresso with our presenters. Just give us a basket of stuff and we'll make something amazing. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> and you can come and judge. Yeah, I'll do. Okay, it's a deal. Cool. Okay. And then for my dessert, I made a strawberry mousse with a almond crumble and we had to use sago. So I made it just cooked sago, easily cook it in a pan mm -hmm. and made a salsa with some citrus fruit, just some okay. segments and that was it. Now, I'm sure you guys also had a time limit. So we're giving yeah. you a time limit. You've Definitely. got like 30 seconds to finish it up. Okay, Can you do it? Yeah. Okay, let's see if Nick, the winner of Sunday Times Junior Chef, 2012 can finish his recipe in 30 seconds live on Espresso. He's cutting the tuna. This could be a award winning moment. <laughs> there he goes, cutting the tuna. He's laid the, the plate with our um, apple salad that he's made. If you've just tuned in, we're with the winner from the Sunday Times Junior Chef competition. Nick is showing us his award winning starter that he made. We are timing you. You've got 15 seconds. Right. No pressure. <laughs> is this harder than the cook off? Um, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Our keyword today, if you'd like to get the ingredients list sent through to your mobile phone, is TUNA. SMS that to 33728. TUNA will get you the ingredients list sent to your mobile phone. Look at that. Okay. All done. And Thank you made you. it in time. He's walked away with the Espresso Prize. He's walked away with the Sunday Times Prize of Chef of the Year. He's shown us how he made his delicious starter. Lee, what do you think? Nice and healthy?